Okay, so we're here for our second press conference, and uh, we welcome Julia from Sweden. Hi. Hey, son, hey, son. Hey, son. Hey, that's all, that's all the Swedish I know. Now, um, uh, before we get started, I'd like to just tell us how your, uh, how your rehearsal on stage was, if everything was fine, and how has your experience in Malta been till now? Uh, the rehearsals uh, went well, it was very fun, and we rehearsed with the clothes we were going to wear, so it felt real and it was awesome. Okay, and about your experience in Malta till now, you've been here for what, four days? Uh, yes, it's been amazing because I've seen very many beautiful places and I've met very fantastic people, so yeah, it's been great. Okay, I know you had, um, on your stay here, you were going around some schools and you're seeing some places and all. What have you seen till now? There's a test. Uh, okay, <laughs> I have seen... I'm joking. Some, I've seen a museum and at the museum I, we met some children who will support us and that was very fun because they were very cute and happy and yeah, they were amazing. Okay, super. Now, I'd like you to tell us a little bit about your song, the song you're performing on uh, this coming weekend. It's called You Are Not Alone. Tell us a bit about that, and then we'll open the floor to, the, to questions from the, from the press. Okay. Uh, well, the song is called uh, Du är inte ensam. Which du means... är inte ensam. Yeah. That's my Swedish for You Are Not Alone. Yeah, yeah that's mean, that means you're not alone. And it's about all the questions and thoughts you have about who what are you going to do to fit in and how are you supposed to be but my answers to those questions is just be who you are because you're awesome just as you are and if you are yourself you will never be alone it's a very 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 good answer and very very thoughtful it's nice Thank okay um uh, any questions that anybody would like to ask and i will come in along with a few more okay hello good morning team sweden it's jp speaking uh, first of all, Johnny, I've got to tell you, I'm impressed about your Swedish. <laughs> I know something else. Vill du dricka te? Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> you want to drink tea. Julia, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed when I read your biography. You have uh, done 100 songs on eight albums. Yes. With such a young age. How, how did you manage to do this? Uh, well, on Spotify, you mean? Uh, but you have been singing on 100 songs, right? Uh, yes, I've been singing since I was very small. So I started singing when I started talking and started dancing when I took my first step. So I have, I have done a lot of things, but I think it's so funny. So I got the time, so yeah. Fantastic. But also, you, you, when you talk, you sound a bit American to me. Have you been living in America? No, but I have, uh, I've been on a tour in America when I was 11, so I've maybe got some words from there. <laughs> I think the Swedish have an advantage, anybody who's Swedish has an advantage when they're singing, because the Swedish don't speak, they sing. Hello, my name is Julia, I'm from Sweden, I live in Stockholm. So you have an advantage of everyone, you sing when you talk, so that's great. Um, I know you also have a, a couple of albums, you did a Christmas album with your sister. Yeah. Which is doing children, quite well. Children's songs. Children's albums, songs, yeah. exactly. Excellent stuff. Um, uh, if you don't have questions, I have a few more. If we have a few more questions here, Hi. sorry about that. I'm sorry for my voice. <laughs> I'm Isona from ESC Plus, and I have a question. Um, I think this is the first time since 2003 that uh, uh, Sweden adds some English words in, uh, in the song. And um, can you tell us why you chose uh, those English yeah, sentences? Because I think it's the very first time, isn't it? Uh, well, I didn't know that actually, but that, that we were first. Uh, yes. But I wanted to sing some English words because uh, it's kind of only Sweden who understands the Swedish language. So I wanted everybody to be involved of what I'm singing. And uh, yeah, I chose uh, the chorus to be English because that's when I say kind of all the things I'm singing about. Very smart. Thank very you. smart, very good, thank you. You are uh, the songwriter and you've also written the music together with somebody special. Is you that mean who I wrote this song? Yes. Uh, well, I wrote it together with Thomas Gesson, who is a, a 
famous producer in Sweden, and he has written many songs in both Melodifestivalen and, and Eurovision. So it was a pleasure. He to was a songwriter him. for um, uh, for the song Euphoria as well. Yes. Okay, so it's it's up here. <laughs> okay, how was that experience working uh, with somebody who has so much experience and and, and so much fame and knowledge? Uh, it was very cool because he has much experience uh, and he had much great ideas so yeah it was very cool because he teach me many things so yeah okay we have a question over there uh, you working with your team together longer or only for the eurovision now and maybe introduce your colleagues uh well you can present yourselves maybe <laughs> Yeah, hello. Hello. <laughs> My name is Elsa Lee from Stop. Hello. Sorry, and what are you doing? Are you a dancer? Yeah. You're all dancers. We are all dancers. Okay. Um, hello. My name is Leia, uh, and I dance. <laughs> Hi. My name is Amanda, and I dance. <laughs> Hi. My name is Tess, and I also dance. My name is Johnny, and I don't dance. <laughs> And yeah, we, some of us work together with the Swedish Lilian Bildifesvallen, and but no, no, nothing more at this. <laughs> For now. Yeah. I'm Kath. I'm head of press, and I certainly don't dance. Um, the other day, uh, I think I'm on the same floor as you, but I smelled McDonald's and I heard a lot of giggling. Now, you're all dancers and you're very professional and you're very slim and you're very fit. I assume you eat something other than McDonald's and you do sleep occasionally. So can you tell us, how are you looking after yourselves? Because this does require a lot of energy all the time. So how do you remain so up? See, they're giggling already. How, how, what else do you do apart from McDonald's and giggling to have such a good performance? We stretch before we dance, and we do. We we swim a lot in the pool, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and we eat food, lots of food, <laughs> lots of food. Yeah. Chocolate equals energy. You know that? <laughs> okay, Joey. Can you tell us if you have any any other hobbies apart from music? Uh, I can start. I also play football, and uh, I, on my free time, I like to hang out with friends and family, and take photos on things. Uh, selfies, lots of selfies. Yeah, oh, okay, kind of, okay. and other things too. And I like to play drums. You. Uh, okay. Um, I like to play uh, sports like handball. You know. Uh, and I like to paint my nails. That's paint your lovely. nails? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. What <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, I like to... It's the chocolate that's talking. Play football too, but I... not so good. But <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> and um, I like to be with my friends. Okay. Yeah. Other, other than dancing, I sing. And I play cello. Um, <laughs> I dance and um, I sing and uh, playing theater. You act in the theater? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So we have the new Zlatan Ibrahimovic coming out somewhere here. We have <laughs> two professional footballers in a few years' time. Okay, we have another question. Julia, um, sorry for that. <laughs> um, Melody Festival is pretty big in, in Sweden. It's a huge event. Would you like to sing at Melody Festival when you're old enough? Yes, I'd like to. I'd love to. Uh, because it would be a big honor. Uh, so, yes. The answer is yes. Well, I read that you sang with Anton Ewald and Johio together, or you work together with them? On, yes, on yes, I have. Okay, super. Okay, are there any more questions from the floor? Oh, we've got one more. Yeah. Okay. Um, tell us about your music idol. Idols? Your music idol. Okay. Um, I have a few, like Beyonce, Bruno Mars, and 
Ariana Grande uh, because, yeah, they're awesome and they're cool. <laughs> but you also mentioned in your, in your biography that you're a big fan of Michael Jackson and of One Direction. Five boys, five girls. Are you the Swedish equivalent of One Direction, but in girls? Yeah, maybe, but I, One Direction, I was obsessed with them before, but now I've You've grown out left of them. them behind. Oh, okay, okay, okay. One Direction, I'm sorry, man, you've lost them. <laughs> okay, and um, you are aware, we discussed this on the, on the red carpet, that Michael Jackson has a song, You Are Not Alone, and that you have a song, that You Are Not Alone. So maybe, hopefully one day you'll be as big as Michael Jackson. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, fingers crossed. Okay, do we have any other questions? Okay, I'd like to remind you that um, uh, photo opportunity after this, we can take a couple of pictures with a backdrop. So, uh, Julian, the Team Sweden, I wish you the best of luck for the rest of, the, of your stay over here and best of luck, of course, for the, for the night. Thank you. Um, uh, anybody who wants to take pictures? This is the area. <laughs>